In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do keyframe animation in Clipchamp. Actually, we're not going to do that because keyframe animation is a feature that does not exist in Clipchamp. They do have transitions, but they're also not that advanced. So for example, here, if I drag a zoom effect onto my video, nothing even happens. That's because zoom in as well as many other transitions in Clipchamp only work between two split clips. So here I split my clip by pressing S. And if you drag the zoom in effect onto the place where the clip was cut, it's going to add its own super custom zoom in animation that you might not even be looking for. And there's no option to adjust any aspects of that zoom effect. You're pretty much just stuck with this zoom effect the way it was envisioned by the original designer of that effect. Now, it's possible to adjust the duration of your zoom effect here, like with many other transitions in Clipchamp. But for the most part, most of the transitions available here are very limited. And some of them cannot even be chosen because you need the full paid version of Clipchamp to access them. Now, I'm not trying to bash Clipchamp in any way, but as someone who covered so many different video editors, I can say that it's going to be very difficult for Clipchamp to compete with other video editing packages out there. Because even in the free versions of those editors, you get access to keyframe animation as well as motion tracking 